It's very significant. It's very rare that we find uh, skeletons that we can date to a specific time. And of course it's even more important because we believe these came from, from the Black Death, uh, a massive pandemic that affected all of Europe and uh, killed perhaps uh, 40 or more percent of the population of London and Britain. We suspect that they might be here. We know that there was a later cemetery associated with, with Charterhouse, uh, but we also knew that there was this earlier cemetery that was used for the Black Death specifically. And the pottery evidence within the graves shows us that these are probably from that earlier cemetery. Because of the timing of this find, um, what we found is over the last decade there have been massive advances in, in genetics, in medicine, and that, in a way that's rubbed off on archaeology because we can tell things now that we, we couldn't tell 10 years ago. And uh, studies that have been done on other Black Death cemeteries have been able to not only identify the, the pathogen, um, but also look at the strain of the pathogen and look at the epidemiology, the, the evolution of the disease through time. And now we know, for example, that the Black Death originated in China. And what we can do with these skeletons can take a tiny sample, say from the from the teeth, and and look at the DNA, at the pathogen, and fit it into that picture, and thereby learn more about the the plague and the Black Death. We can look at the general health of the of the skeleton. We can see what kind of childhood they had, whether they were healthy during childhood, and then we can look when they get into adulthood, for example, how long they lived for, what was their age at death. We can see how much trauma, how much, how much evidence of fracture they had on the skeletons, see what kind of life they led. Uh, in a way, we're not, we're, we don't study death so much, we study life.